next step in painting is mixing the clear coat. The clear coat provides the final protection and the final gloss. The clear coat is a two component chemical. Um, the first is the one he's pouring in there, it's actually the clear itself. And um, you mix it, uh, depending on which clear you've chosen, you mix it different ratios. Um, Andy, which hardener are you using? Okay, we're using a slow hardener and a, more of a spot clear. These are, this is a small job, so we're um, getting a clear that dries a little bit faster and a hardener that's uh, a normal speed and uh, mixing it a three to one. Yeah, we're mixing this clear, three parts clear to one part hardener, and then a little bit of reducer in there to thin it out enough to go through the gun. The, uh, uh, the clear has a, a limited pot life once it's mixed. Um, you have uh, just a few hours there to get it sprayed or it's going to turn to a big uh, uh, tennis shoe sole there. Um, so uh, you, you mix it up and once those chemical components are together, you've just got a little while to apply it. And the clear coat actually has a limited life uh, once you open the uh, container. Um, you have to use the clear within a number of months. It's usually printed on the container or it'll uh, uh, get cloudy in the can and be ruined from the moisture that it picks up from the air that you let into the can when you opened it. Andy's grabbing a filter now because we don't want any junk in our clear coat coming through the gun. And uh, he's probably mixed with any luck about 20% more clear coat than we need to use. If you mix uh, a little too much, you end up throwing some away. If you mix a little too little, you end up ruining your job. You have to apply the clear fast and evenly in order to get the right texture to it. Uh, the material you see there put in the gun is probably about $40 worth of material. Uh, paint lasts for a long time. We use the best paint in the industry, and it's really expensive, so we take good care of it.